for chromatography. Materials required Fresh spinach leaves Ether acetone solvent Acetone Watch glass Filter paper strip Pencil Scale Scissor Spatula Capillary tune Mortar and pestle And chromatographic chamber Procedure Remove some fresh spinach leaves from the watch glass Using scissors, cut the spinach leaves into small pieces and collect them in a mortar Pour about 5 ml of acetone into the mortar Grind the spinach leaves using the pestle. Using a spatula, collect some extract into a watch glass. Take a filter paper strip with a narrow notch at one end of the strip. Using a pencil and scale, draw a horizontal line with a pencil about 2 to 3 cm away from the tip of the notch. Using a capillary tube, take some extract and put a drop of the pigment extract in the middle of the line. Allow the drop to dry and repeat this process until 4 or 5 drops are placed on the paper. Pour some ether acetone solvent into a chromatographic chamber. Now, hang the extract loaded filter paper strip into the chromatographic chamber. The loading spot should remain about 1 cm above the solvent level. Leave the chromatographic chamber undisturbed for some time. Take out the strip carefully and let it dry. Observations The dried chromatographic paper strip shows four distinct pigment bands. Different pigments can be identified by their colors. Measure the distance of each pigment band from the loading spot and also the distance travelled by the solvent. Calculations RF value of each pigment spot can be calculated as follows. RF is equal to distance travelled by the compound by distance travelled by the solvent. Results The uppermost orange-yellow band corresponds to carotene. The yellowish band below it marks the xanthophyll. The dark green band represents chlorophyll A. The lowermost yellowish-green band is that of chlorophyll B. RF value for carotene is 0.95, xanthophyll is 0.71, chlorophyll A is 0.65 and chlorophyll B is 0.45.